Hello everyone and welcome to this Crazy Talk Animator 2 video tutorial on how to do basic lip syncing for your character. So the first thing is that I need to open a character. So we we made one in the previous tutorial, my Peter guy here, and we removed the we did a basic photo fitting, face fitting. We removed the background, we gave the character virtual eyes and virtual teeth and we also forced the mouth to close and we lowered the lips. So now we're ready. So I need to select my character and go to the left side toolbar and we will click on create script. And here we have four options. I can choose to open a pre-made crazy talk script. If I did some one in the past and I saved it, I can reuse it. Or I can open a wave or mp3 file, a uh, text to speech engine, or I can record my voice. So if you have a microphone, you can select that. Okay, and when you make your recording, obviously try to make it in a nice, clean, and quiet environment. That way, you don't you don't have that background uh, noise there. So again, remember with, with Crazy Talk, Crazy Talk will work with any language. This is because Crazy Talk doesn't detect specific words; it works with sounds. So if you have that knock in the background or that refrigerator generator humming, then that may interfere with your recording, and obviously with the result of your lip syncing. So try to have a nice and quiet environment. Let's try something here. Hello everyone and welcome to Crazy Talk Animator 2. So I can play this back and if I click on OK, Crazy Talk will start analyzing that audio and automatically lip syncing the character's face. Hello everyone and welcome to Crazy Talk Animator 2. Okay, that's pretty good. So if I would like to remove that or delete that, I just can just go to undo or press control Z on Windows or command uh, Z on a Mac. So let's try the other option, create script. And now I'm going to try TTS, okay, text-to-speech. Now, depending on the operating system that you might be using, uh, you will have different options. So for example, here I'm using a Windows environment. So by default, I have this Microsoft uh, Ana voice. If I'm using a Mac OS computer, I, I will have different options. Additionally, you can purchase other text-to-speech engines from third-party companies like NeoSpeech, there's iSpeech, there's Ivona. So you might um, purchase one of these engines and if you install it, Crazy Talk will automatically detect it and you can use it in here. So let's try this. Hello everyone and welcome to Crazy Talk Animator. Make sure this is space there. Animator 2. Let's try that. And I will click on OK. So it'll process. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Crazy eTalk Animator 2. OK. So again, depending on the quality of your text to speech engine, that's the quality of the audio you're going to have. So let's try this again. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Crazy eTalk Animator 2. OK. There you go. So let's undo this. I don't want that part. And I will go to script again, and this time around, I will open a pre-saved, a pre-recorded uh, WAV file. So I have a WAV file here. As you can see, I can also import an MP3 file, which I previously recorded, and I also cleaned. Okay. So if you have one of these recordings, make sure that it's a nice, clean recording. And if you have an, an additional software to remove the noise and the background sounds, you might want to do that so you can have a crisp, clear audio file. So let's try this one. There comes a point in a man's life, and maybe that time for you is now, when it doesn't hurt to start thinking about the future. It's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. It's a problem of motivation, all right? Yeah, I just stare at my desk. But it looks like I'm working. Okay, great. So we can see that Crazy Talk did a fairly good job. Here, I now want to open the timeline. So I can go down here or I can press F3 to open the timeline. Um, I want to show you a little trick also, a little tip that I always use. When Crazy Talk Animator, when you're using, uh, when you have several, a lot of characters and props and, and stuff on your, on your stage window and you open the timeline, it might be a bit confusing because you're going to see all the tracks for different items and different characters and that can be, be uh, a bit confusing. So what I do is that I make sure that the object related track is selected. Okay. So what will this do? This will basically allow me to always open, hold up, let me bring this out. 
Timeline. <laughs> Open the timeline. Okay, see, my timeline got docked at the bottom. So I'll pull it back up. Okay, so what will this do? It means that every time that I have something selected in my stage window and I have the object related track on, that means that only this element, only this character, or only this prop will be highlighted in the timeline. Okay, that way it's, it's less confusing because you're only working on one, uh, one track at a time. Okay, so I'm only working with the Walter track at this point. So let's open face and we see that we have the voice clip which is the one that we just recorded. So let me zoom out a bit. Okay, we can see it better. Okay, so I can move this clip back and forth. Okay, and I can also uh, decide to break this clip into two or I can delete or do whatever else um, I'd like to, to do with it. So let me undo here and um, I will open the voice clip track and now we can see the lip syncs that were generated by Crazy Talk. Okay? So if you have a nice recording and you drop in that audio file, you will be able to see that wave form like this. Okay? And the, the more peaks and valleys you see, the better. And you see that we have a nice silence there and then he talks again and another silence. So this is actually very, very, a very good recording and you'll get a much better result when you do this okay so let me play this back and you can see that when the time scrub starts moving along it'll start touching these phonemes and that's how the mouth is being animated the point in man's life and maybe that time for you is now when it doesn't hurt to start thinking about the future okay so let me go back um, what I'd like to do at this point let me zoom in a bit I want to go to to frame 175 where he says um, future or we can go to another one here uh, let's say 215 it's not that I'm it's not that I'm lazy it's not that I'm lazy okay let me move this over here and we can see that it starts with its right so crazy talk detected that I and he put this one inside and then it's that s and crazy talk did that here so uh, Crazy Talk does a fairly good job in, uh, by its own. Um, you can obviously go in and you can modify these lip syncs if you choose. So, for example, it's not. It's, and then he says not, right? So here, Crazy Talk dropped in a none. I can remove this one if I'd like to, or I can modify, I can add something else. So, how do I add another lip sync? I can double click inside, and this will open. The lips editor, which you might find attached to this right, uh, the 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 right panel here, the right column where we have the content manager and the scene manager. So you can easily undock that, okay, and bring it over. And now I have the ability of customizing that lip sync that we had. So, if for example, let me go back, undo, undo. We have that none. If I would like to replace that none because he says it's not okay so I want that N sound so I can highlight that lip sync and just tap on NG okay and then we have an I here but I want him to have that na because he says not so I can select that I and then tap on A okay and that'll change it so it's not that I'm lazy okay and for example you see the A here I can also adjust the expressiveness on that phoneme. So if you go down here, you'll see that Crazy Talk gave it an expressiveness of, of 75%. So I can increase this to 100. You can see the mouth opens more. Or I can decrease that. So this gives me the flexibility of being able to customize the lip syncs that Crazy Talk generated for me. So it's fairly easy for you to select one, and then replace it. Or if you wish to do it, uh, if you wish to drop in one by yourself. So let me just delete this. I'm going to move these to the side. And if I would like to drop in a, a new one, uh, obviously I can double click on this part. Okay, and this will open the lips editor. And then I can click on the A phoneme. There's another way to do this. Let me delete here. I can just make sure the time scrub is over that part. And if I go to the, to the top where I have this little icon with the plus sign, it says lips editor. If I click on that, the lips editor will open. So let me close that and do it again. 
and you see it opens. And then inside, I can choose if I want to add that A. And then I can drop the expressiveness if I want or increase it. Okay? It's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. Okay? So, what if I want to create the, my lip syncs on my own? Okay? Let's say I want to start from scratch. Well, you can do this too. So, I want to come here to frame 175. So, I can, I can drag inside the timeline until I find that. Or, if I'm in another place, I can go up here where it says current frame. And I type in 175, enter. And this will take me to that time frame. And then I can move the time scrub forward. Okay? So, here he says future. Let me play this back. Future. Okay, so if I want to create my own lip syncs, I can do that. So how do I do it? Let me delete, I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to delete them and we're going to show you how to do it from scratch. So right about here, he starts saying future. So I want him to, to uh, make that F sound. So I can go up and open the lips editor and I will look for the F phonem and it's right there and I tap on it. And you can see the F phonem is dropped in, and you see his lips already doing, uh, making that shape. And of course, you can choose the expressiveness that you want to add. You can move the slider, or you can tap down, or just add a value if you'd like. Okay. So future, then F U few. So right about here, when we see that the wave form increases, okay, if there's an F here, and then you see there's a, there's an accent here. So I want to drop in the W and double O. Okay, few. So, few, chur. Okay, so I'm tempted to drop in a T. Uh, but then I'm thinking, why don't I just put in an ER? Because after the T, he says something like chur. Okay, chur. So it sort of sounds like an ER, and the shape, I would imagine, fits. So let me tap on that. Now it says, Few, you, chur, okay, and it will continue with that er until the end. And right there, where it where it ends, and I see a silence, I would I would want to drop in a none. That ensures that my mouth is closed before the next phonem kicks in. Now, obviously, I did uh, uh, my my advice is to always drop in a none exactly where you see that silence, and also. Right before he starts with that first word, you might want to drop in another none. This will ensure that his mouth is completely closed, and then he starts with this word, F-U-E-R, none. Okay? Let's play this back. Watch his lips. The future. That's pretty good. The future. Future. Okay? So, what else can we do? So, since we generated these lip syncs on our own, I can also use these in the future. So let me delete all of these so say for example he was saying future again so what would we want to do okay so we finished here there's a none there's a silence so he's, he want we want him to say future again so let's just copy paste future and paste it right there where you see that the wave uh, form starts again for the audio you want to paste it right there and obviously I want, right before that, like we did over here, right before that, I want to drop in another none, okay? Why? Because I want to ensure that from this point here all the way to here, I want to make sure that his mouth is closed. And then suddenly, he starts making that F-U uh, shape in his mouth. So double click and none. Okay, so he'll say nothing, then future, nothing, silence, silence, silence then future again. Okay? So that's it. That's how easy it is to create your own lip syncs with Crazy Talk Animator. Now, before I finish, I'd like to also mention, let me undo this a bit, go back to the original one. Um, Crazy Talk Animator will work with um, uh, image base, or what we call a photo based character like this one. And the way it animates is it's by stretching and morphing those pixels. But Crazy Talk, the, the lip syncing system will also work with a sprite based character. So, what is a sprite based character? It's basically a character that's created from sprites. So, the original character that we had here was Walter. And I could select Peter here and I can replace him with Walter. So, let me go back out 
template, um, sorry, characters, all the way down, and we have Walter. So let's replace Peter with Walter. So now here, Walter is a sprite-based character. And the way that Crazy Talk Animator will animate Walter, it's by replacing these sprites in real time. Okay? So if I play this back, you will see that Crazy Talk will animate uh, the lip syncs of this character, the, the, the lips of this character with those lip syncs. There comes a point in a man's life, and maybe that time for you is now. Let me pause and zoom in a bit. When it doesn't hurt to start thinking about the future. It's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. It's a problem of motivation, all right? Okay, great. So you see that it works. And how does this work? So if I select the character and I open the sprite editor, and let's go to face, you can see, and I'll click on mouth here to highlight the mouth, you can see all the sprites that we have for this character. Okay, so what Crazy Talk does is that each uh, each embedded character comes with its own lip sync phonem library, and Crazy Talk already knows this sounds like an O or a U or an A or an E. So when you have those lip syncs inside, and Crazy Talk uses the lip sync engine, it'll then start replacing these lip syncs in real time to simulate as if your character is um, is you know talking with that audio and that's how it works okay so thank you people um, this is it for now stick around for the next tutorial which I will show you how to create a facial puppeteering for this character so just to give you a sneak peek this is the file that I have okay so I'm gonna show you how to do emotions like this with the facial puppeteering Let me play this back. There comes a point in a man's life, and maybe that time for you is now, when it doesn't hurt to start thinking about the future. It's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. It's a problem of motivation, all right? Yeah, I just stare at my desk. But it looks like I'm working. Okay, great. So stick to the next tutorial, and we'll show you how to do this facial puppeteering. Thank you again.